Okay, so today we're going to show you a more jig bore. Uh, this is a model number two. They also made a number three. Uh, so what you have here is uh, you got your two axes that you can move by hand. You've got a special dial here. You can set the dial ring as well as the front axis here. This moves very easily. Uh, you see we have a DRO up here for these two axes. Now, this has very little, I don't know if you can see those numbers moving, but I'm barely moving my hand, and we don't have any backlash. Very slight. Same with this one. Very little backlash. Uh, so this is a very nice table set up on here. You've got a lamp, you've got um, two speeds for the spindle. The spindle is running right now, this is a low speed. And you have a high speed. And you get the low, and then you can actually decrease and increase that as you go along, just to get to a special speed that you want. You also have automatic uh, drilling or an automatic feed going down. Have three different speeds: a neutral, three thousandths, and another neutral, and then the slower feed is a uh, thousandths and a half. I guess that's inches per minute, or I'm not exactly sure what that means. <clears throat> Got a um, you can also go in the opposite direction and neutral in the middle. I'll loosen this, and then you can uh, feed this by hand. There's a dial indicator here. You can move it up and down on the spindle. It's kind of homemade. It might come in handy, so we're just going to leave it on there for you. <clears throat> the whole spindle housing, of course, can go up and down once you unclamp it. Over here is a clamp. Once you loosen that, you can move this up or down. This is on a counterweight, so it makes this very easy to move. You have a clutch or a lever to disengage uh, your gears there so you can spin the the thing by hand. This is actually a brake. When you want to stop the spindle, uh, you have a brake on there that you can pull. The machine's currently wired for uh, 220 volts, and you have a Bijou single shot uh, loops, lubricator there. The machine's in pretty nice condition. Uh, it is as is, and uh, right on here now is a Albrecht uh, hand chuck. And I think that's I've covered everything. You got your DRO, 220 volts. Everything feels really nice on here. Um, I think that's about. It. I think we've covered everything. Uh, this is the more number two jig bore. Uh, if you need to be drilling several holes spaced out evenly, uh, you can't beat a machine like this. Uh, that's what they're made for. Um, so if you got some precision holes to drill, we've got a machine for you. So. Thank you very much.